Hey, what's going on guys? Like Butter here, and today I got another Warframe video for you. I want to do a video to kind of walk through the interior of the ship and let you know like what each station does and what to kind of do first if you are a new player. I've been getting a lot of uh, tweets, a lot of comments, a lot of messages, a lot of people talking in my chat that they're brand new to Warframe uh, because, you know, they just recently tried it out and they've been loving it, but they're a little bit confused on the beginning part of the game, what each station does, because it can be a bit overwhelming at first until you either get somebody to explain it to you or you take a lot of time to kind of try to figure it out uh, by yourself. I personally had a lot of people help me out and explain different things, so I want to kind of uh, just give you guys like a little beginner tips video here on the inside and the interior of the ship. So when you like first spawn in and you're at lower level, um, you're probably not going to have this yet. Um, this is where you're going to get your carrier, which is the first thing that you want to do in my opinion. Here is the foundry where you're going to be making all your weapons and all of your uh, gear pieces once you get the blueprints. This is for your mods, which you should be getting a good amount of mods uh, in the early game. Um, I want to do a separate video talking about what mods to kind of hold on to uh, when you're in the early game. But you can see like we got a lot of mods here. And uh, this here, you're not going to see this station quite yet until you do the uh, Kubro egg um, mission. Let me see which one it is. Up here is where you pick your missions. But let me see if it's in... Uh, let me go to my codex. This here on the left is is kind of going to give you an idea of like everything that you're looking for as far as like Warframes. Uh, gives you a little bit of information on factions, mods. You know, it's got an art gallery, whatever. Explains uh, relics and all that stuff. But uh, basically, this here is going to give you a pretty good idea of which quests you've done and which quests you haven't finished. And uh, this is the quest here, Howl of the Kubro, where you will unlock that area. You can see I have like a little little dog walking around. His name is Doge. Meet Doge. Um, and then up here, this is where you're going to queue for PvP. Not many people have been uh, talking about PvP since I started playing this game, but it is something I want to try out. I heard it's got a huge skill gap. Uh, we'll try it out and see how it goes. This is your news here, and uh, over here is where um, your syndicates are. This is where you can basically get, um, you can join factions essentially, and you can collect certain rewards for joining those factions. I don't know too much about that quite yet. Um, I'm coming up on 70 hours soon, and uh, I still haven't even had a chance to even tap into that. Because from what I've heard, you want to go through and see which each faction kind of gives you for a reward, or each, uh, I, I guess you can call it, um, yeah, I guess a, a faction would be a good one. Um, and then for here, this is where you're going to go through for all your, you know, missions and stuff. The top right is going to be, uh, your different sections between your fissures, your, uh, I, I say fissures, I think it's fissures, um, your alerts, which happen hourly. These, the, actually all these kind of happen hourly and, uh, your invasions, your invasions are basically, um, timed events where depending on how many people are doing the invasions is how fast you can basically get in and do it if you want to claim your reward um i still haven't gotten really uh too in depth on invasions but i have been doing uh the fishers and the alerts you want to look out for nitane alerts because the nitane extract is uh, only available i think four times a day around every five hours it pops up it'll say nitane extract and you want to get that because you're going to need that for crafting um, some of the higher level uh, Warframes. And for just just trust me, Nitane Extract is so incredibly important. And here's your quest lines. Um, that's the quest that I'm currently on that I haven't really done much on yet. But these will switch out. They'll give you things like credits and materials that you need. Remember, everything is done through your materials in this game. Now, when you first start playing, you're probably wondering, like, you know, what do I do first? The best thing I can tell you that has helped me the most is in the beginning, go over here to the marketplace and go, you, there's a drop down menu here where you can go to like Warframes, weapons, go to weapons and start to like look at low level weapons that you can get for your mastery level and see what ones you can buy the blueprint for. For example, you can't there um, and I think it's because I've already owned these. 
But just for example here, say uh, I want this the blueprint for this pistol. I can go down here, I can purchase the blueprint. I think I've already purchased the blueprint for this, but I don't have enough credits. But say you purchase the blueprint there, it's going to say thank you for your purchase, and then you're going to come down to your foundry where you see all your blueprints, and then it's going to show you all the materials that you need to create that blueprint. So for example, this, this Amphis uh, thing fashioned with Grenier materials. They gave me this for a mission, I believe. Um, I need 30,000 credits to craft this, though. I can't do this. So it's going to say insufficient credits. So you're going to want to be farming credits a lot as well. But here's where all your uh, blueprints go. You can even go like over to, I think there's a blueprints tab. Uh, ready to build, Warframe, primary. Like this will just kind of help you figure out which things which. Well, all of these are technically going to be blueprints. But it'll show you like which ones are on their way. Ivara's got 11 hours left. Super excited to try her out. Uh, but then you can, like, in progress, for example, these are everything, like, all the things that I have building right now. I have a boar building, which is a shotgun, AK Lex, which is dual uh, Lex pistols. I got a Serenos bow um, working on it right now to try to get the, what's the other thing that I needed? Uh, let's see, for everything. I think it's Serenos... Yeah, mutil, uh, Mutualist, Mutalist, Cernos. I'm trying to build this for Ivara um, since it's like the only bow I really have. And then I also have Cernos Prime here, which I hopefully can start working towards. Um, Prime is basically just a better version of uh, whatever weapon it is. And AK is just kind of the dual of that pistol as well. So for here, like the AK Stiletto Prime, it's just like two pistols that you usually need two of them to create. But there you don't. Uh, you don't, do you? No, you don't. Okay. Um, so yeah, like, this is basically where you're going to be doing, like, all of your crafting, and it's going to show you what materials you need. You can use the, the wiki if you have any questions. Like, the Warframe wiki is really good. It'll tell you, like, where to get, you know, certain materials and stuff. But when you first start out, your main priority is just going to be going through the story missions. Um, you're going to just try to unlock your junctions and whatnot, and you're going to be probably over here, and it's going to have little blue diamonds that's going to tell you which missions you haven't done. And as you progress, you will eventually start getting uh, blueprints for Warframes and, and uh, weapons and stuff. But like I said, huge Kickstarter is over at the market. Don't forget, guys, go down to weapons, and there will be a ton of weapons here that you can purchase, early level weapons as well. So, for example, if I wanted this, can't get that. There's no blueprint. If you don't see the blueprint down here, it means either you have the blueprint already or it's not purchasable. But here, for example, if I wanted this, I can do 15,000 credits, get it, then I can uh, figure out which materials I need and whatnot. So, a good weapon to start with is the Karak, the K A R A K. Let me see if it's actually in here. I think it is. It will show it again if I want. If I wanted to get it back, yeah. So there you go. Uh, the Karak is a really good starter weapon, and also the a lot of people suggested the Heck, which is a shotgun. I absolutely love it. I don't think you can get that to like mastery level five or something though, or four. Um, and uh, what was the other one that I had? Let me look at the rifles. There was another really uh, early game weapon. Oh, the Boltor. Yeah, the Boltor, which I I'm using the Boltor Prime uh, currently. But the Boltor is really good as well. So those are good weapons to kind of get the blueprints for early on once you get enough credits. And then uh, go down to your foundry and craft it. Here at the at the mod station, this is where you're going to start leveling up your mods. Um, if you look at the bottom of your mod, you'll see like uh, little empty diamonds. And those empty diamonds mean that those levels aren't fulfilled yet. So if you go over here to like, uh, you know, I think you can do primary these are all your different sections of mods but i you can sort here here it is sort by rating if you sort by rating uh it'll show you like you know which ones uh you have like leveled up or whatever or is that rarity price polarity rank i think it's rank yeah so here it'll show you um like all of the mods that you have like ranked up you'll see like the how the diamonds below it like down uh, down at the bottom here. I can't really point to it because it keeps switching, but um, at the bottom of the mod, you'll see like those little blue diamonds. Um, those are from leveling up, so I can just give you a quick example here. Um, infected clip. Is this maxed? Yeah, that's maxed out. Let me see something that's not maxed out. 
uh, that I need to max out anyways. Streamlines, max, um, serration, okay? This is gonna be super expensive. So you just click it like that to select it, go up to Fusion, and this is where you're gonna be ranking it up. I don't even have the credits, I'm not even close. Look at how much endo it's gonna cost to max out serration, 19K, almost a million credits to level that up. It's, it's insane how much uh, that's gonna cost, but um, that's basically what you're gonna be doing there. And then all of your duplicates, you can go over here to your duplicates and you can uh, trade them in for endo uh, or dissolve them. From what I've heard and from what a lot of people have been telling me, you always want to dissolve your mods. You don't want to sell them because credits are really easy to get. Endo is not so easy unless you do certain endo farms, but that's going to come way later in the game. You're going to want your endo early game, so make sure to dissolve uh, dissolve any extra mods that you have. All you got to do is go down here. I have four. I like to keep one just in case. Uh, you can select all if you want, hit OK, and then go up here to dissolve, and it will dissolve it and give you some endo. So... Uh, endo is just the currency that that uh, that uh, mods are used to upgrade. So that's pretty much everything, dudes. Like I, I know, like that's very brief. Um, here's obviously your arsenal where you're gonna change all your stuff. You know, you can go through and upgrade, and you're gonna change like all the mods. This is where you're gonna put the mods that I was just showing you guys on your character. You wanna uh, make sure that your capacity, you don't have any capacity left. So really, like right now, I'm at a point in the game where um, it doesn't really matter to have like some of these really crappy mods on, but it wouldn't make sense to not at least have that on there, even though that's completely useless. Um, it would still help, or better yet, maybe, uh, Oh, I can't even put stretch on. Uh, what could we even put on here? Uh, sure, redirection I don't, or, or reflection. There you go. 16% damage taken is reflected when blocking attacks while channeling. That's just such a useless mod. But um, once you start to learn, I, like I'm going to do a separate video about mods, but th just basically that's where you put your mods on and that's how you feel your power spike. Same thing with your weapons, you'll have weapon mods and whatnot and the capacity goes up with the level of the mod until you use one of the uh, one of the catalyst uh, thingies to double the capacity, I forget what it's called, catalyst injector I think. Um, and basically the whole beginning part of the game all you're trying to do is just get as many different weapons, get as many different Warframes as you can get and level them up because every little bit of level, like you can see here where it says max rank, this means that this weapon is no longer contributing to my mastery rank. But here where it says rank 19, anything below level 30 is going to contribute to your mastery rank when you rank those things up. So those are going to really, really help and that's why you want to get as much currency as you can and buy as many different blueprints as you can and make as many blueprints as you can so that you have a lot of different weapons to upgrade and get your mastery rank up. So, so I knew I was going to miss something, so I actually had to edit this in. But over here, you're going to see, uh, which is going to be a little bit further in the life cycle uh, or through your campaign, the void relics here, if you go to the corner, these are where you refine your relics, which you're going to get from pretty much everything, like mostly just defense missions and uh uh, you can get them as rewards from the excavation missions as well. Um, these relics basically are, have different uh, levels of rarity, essentially, and importance. Here you're going to have, like, bronze, then it's going to go to, like, uh, well, I guess that's, like, some, like, rusty color. I don't even know what you'd call it. Uh, this is bronze, this is silver, and this is kind of a goldish color. They're different um uh, relic rarity and if you click the relic it will show you your possible rewards now how you level this up is you actually have to get the I forget what these things are called uh, void traces I want to say these void traces you get through doing the Fisher missions that I showed you on the board earlier which has like the two little like squiggly lines that go through each other um, these are going to give you a certain drop rate, which it'll show you on the right side of the uh, of the item. So the blue line here um, will show you how uh, rare or how common a drop is uh, percentage in the top right. So to get the rare drop, it's going to be probably like, I don't know, like 5% or something. It's going to be super low. And uh, you can level this up. And I'll show you here. Let me find one that I actually need. And uh, maybe the Tigris Prime Blueprint, or let's see. Operator? 
Let's see, Oberon, uh, Banshee Prime. All right, let's let's do this. So we'll do the uh, Tigris Prime Blueprint. So if I want this, right, I want this Prime uh, Blueprint, then I can actually level this up. If I had a hundred, I could go to Radiant here, and that I need eight more of the uh, of the Void Traces, unfortunately. But you get the Void Traces in the Fisher missions um, when you get ten Reactant. Uh, you receive a, a random amount. It doesn't matter if you choose a relic or whatnot. It will give you a random amount, and what you can do with those is you can refine your relics. Um, I guess, for example, here, let's say I wanted to upgrade this to Flawless. It, it's kind of a waste, but just just for the video um it will sh it will basically uh light up two of these circles here in the middle and what that will do is it'll actually change the drop rate so this is the old uh the old t1 relic here you can see how the blue is really tiny to get the ti uh the tigris prime blueprint well when it's when it's leveled up or when you use the void fishers it base um sorry the void tracers uh traces you will see that the drop rate's going to go up a little bit. You honestly, if you if you in your group really really want something, so for example, if me and my group really wants uh, Tigris Prime, then we want to all go in with the uh, Radiant upgrade on the same relic, so that it brings our chance from like one or two percent up to like forty percent if everyone is using one of those. So. Um, that's just kind of an idea of what these are and then obviously like once you have that you come over here and I'll show you the Fisher missions which is exactly uh, you know what you're gonna be using those for um, so right here you you pick the one uh, that's associated which the one which the um, with the relic that you have or that you want to use so for example I think ours was like Mesa right or was it no actually I think it was uh, Neo so this is actually locked but once I unlock this I'll be able to click that and then you'll it'll ask you if you want to choose a relic and then you just choose the relic that you want to use um, but make sure to give your team enough time I've had a few times where I've kind of just started it up and uh, basically just screwed my teammates out of not being able to pick a relic then you got to back out and whatnot so don't <laughs> force start the timer but hopefully I didn't miss anything Anyways, guys, hopefully this helped some of you guys who are a, a bit newer to Warframe. If I messed anything up, be sure to let me know if you're like more of a veteran player and, and I missed something or didn't explain something properly. Be sure to let me know because don't forget, I'm only a week in the game as well and I am definitely going to be making a lot of mistakes trying to explain this game because of how complex it is. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop the video a like and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, everybody.